Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. Um, I just want to say welcome if you're a new subscriber um, and also just give a big thank you to everyone who has um, supported my channel as well throughout the years. Um, I really appreciate when you guys like and comment and share and um, just view my videos. Um, I'm really, really grateful for that and um, I'm hoping today's video will appeal um, to many people as well. Um, I thought I would share five stationary projects that I'm currently working on um, and some are Hobonichi related and some aren't so I try to bring a little mix in here just in case if you don't have a Hobonichi or anything like that um, maybe these projects are something that you know you're, you've you been considering or um, you haven't thought of before so I will get started and um, yeah uh, please join me if you're interested in this topic. Okay, so my first project is actually a Hobonichi related project and it requires a little bit of a backstory. Um, I started my Hobonichi journey in 2020 with this A6 Day Free. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with the Day Free, it is just like the original Techo except it doesn't have the daily pages, which is in the name Day Free. Um, and it just has graph paper instead. So it has the monthly pages in the front um, followed by just graph paper. Um, and it doesn't have the weekly layout um, if you if you're unfamiliar as well, the original size doesn't either. Um, so yeah, um, I got that in 2020 and um, because it doesn't have the daily pages, it's a little bit thinner than the original size. Um, you can kind of tell here, it's not as thick as the original Techo. So um, in 2020, when I got this cover and I stuck the day free in, I realized it kind of was a bit roomy, which is perfectly fine, but um, you can kind of tell, or hopefully you can tell that it's meant to accommodate a maybe slightly larger um, journal. And um, so what I decided to do in 2020 was to um, use the photo album from Hobonichi. Um, here um, and print out photos from the year. So I basically took the photo album and put it in the front pocket and I printed out 20 photos from 2020. Um, and so when I archived this book in 2020, I would have my day free and a nice like photo album of my year in the front. And because of that, I felt like the cover felt a little bit better. I don't know. Um, it just, yeah, creates a nice little um, like it just creates a nice little closure for it rather than having the top be so loose. But yeah, so I really liked this system and I continued it actually for 2021. This is my 2021 and it's already quite thick um, with my day free, but I still decided to do the photo album um, like routine, I guess, or habit. And um, again, it's my cat. I love to see him when I open up my um, techos. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I um, did it again and I haven't for 2022 or 2023, um, and which is the project basically. Um, I, for 2022, um, didn't really use my day free as intended, so uh, I'm still using it. So you know, again, it's just kind of been that I've been pushing that project aside basically, and you know, um, it really is easy to fall behind. Like, oh, I need to print out 20 photos. Okay, that can wait. So, you know, I've just been procrastinating basically, and that's a project that I'm currently working on. I'm going through the entire year of 2022 and selecting the 20 photos that I will look more than I would normally look at, or it would be just basically 20 photos that I want to archive. Um, in one of my covers so yeah um, that's the first project and yeah it's been ongoing now and I've been really kind of trying to um, prioritize that one actually as the year 2023 is getting closer to the end as well so um, yeah that's my first project Okay, so my second project is um, not Hobonichi related. It is a book binding project that I want to do. Um, so whenever I travel, um, me and my partner go places, I always pick up brochures and I thought it would be a really nice project to get into book binding. Um, and basically I have taken all the brochures and I've um, separated them by prefectures. So I got Osaka, Kyoto, Okayama, and Shiga prefecture and stuff like that. And I want to learn how to bind them um, and, you know, maybe even print out photos and, you know, um, paste it on 
like the trip pamphlet so um, yeah I haven't started like binding yet but I have taken all the pamphlets that I want to use so far and um, you know separated them into clear folders so again this is an ongoing project um, and I have already like kind of saved a few YouTube videos that show book binding or kind of um where they kind of stitch it just kind of like the hobonichi where they stitch like across um here and anyways um i'm haven't done it yet so i i don't really know the words to use but um yeah that is one of my projects and i thought it'd be really nice to have little travel books for guests as well when they visit like if they want to go see kyoto or something you know i can show them one of my bound books that i created um, and it's just a kind of a, just a small creative project as well so um yeah as you can tell i've started i have um separated the brochures by prefecture and i want to continue to do this so i want to keep working on it so that's another project that's ongoing as well Okay, so my third project is another Hobonichi related project and this is my washi tape book. So um, basically I just sample all my washi tape and even some flake seals at some point. Um, and yeah, like I would include the product name, the maker, and maybe the length. I'm not sure. They're not, it's not quite consistent either, but um, I just wanted to have this book filled with all the washi tape that I've accumulated and sampled. Um, just kind of like an, kind of archive it in a weird way, but um, just have like a nice book of all the washi that um, have come into my life and you know hopefully used up eventually as well. Um, but yeah I'm almost done and I don't know I've just procrastinated like all these projects I, I procrastinated on um, and I just have a few more pages left and I have plenty of washi as well to put in here so I think it's again just another project that I need to sit down and you know just you know spend a few hours on um, and just uh, maybe catalog again just what my new washi tapes are and put them in here for my future self. Um, I love flipping through this washi tape book as well so it would be really nice to have this completed and I think I will stop after I finish this book um, but you know I just want to again almost like I'm almost done with it so I would like to you know put some of my new favorite ones in here so I could you know always have them or at least the memory of them in this book so um, that is my fourth no that is my third project yeah so okay so this is my fourth project and you might have seen it on my channel before this is my flake seal book and I use this to organize my flake seals um, like so inside here um, and it's just really really convenient and I really really like it and the things that I needed to do before I finished was I need to make more of these little trays um, maybe it's hard to see I'm trying to hopefully get a good angle but um, I made these little trays for my flake seal so uh, like these ones in particular are quite small so they sink to the bottom um, and with a tray you can kind of lift it up and have access to it much easier um, so again there's a little bit of preparation that needs to be done to finish this I needed to make more trays and then I also needed to buy a new one here um, because this one's quite full and uh, maybe I've I don't know six or seven packets of flake seals that I need to put in something like this so again I just need to put a few more hours into it or I don't know just spend some time in front of the television and um, make more little um, paper cutouts and then yeah and start organizing and again also just kind of maybe cleaning them up I kind of just put them all in here it would be nice if they looked like a little bit more nicer like the ones in the front I have here I don't know yeah just um yeah an ongoing project and I'm nearly done with this one out of the rest so um yeah that's my fourth project And my last project is this one. This is my Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. Um, and the project that is involved in this one is basically I'm practicing for redating a Hobonichi Weeks in a more functional way. And I will show you here. Um, 
So basically on my channel, I have redated older Hobonichi wigs, um, but I've only done that as a memory keeper. So um, because it's more of a journaling and creative space, I haven't been so, I guess, so structured, I guess, in how I redated my Hobonichi wigs. But because the planner I'm going to redate for next year um, is going to be for a planner and not a journal, um, I'm trying to find a system that will look um, you know, more functional, I guess. I want to be able to use this more functionally um, because, again, like in the past, I would, you know, again, similarly, um, a good example is I could have printed out like something like this net print and then just journaled and redated the whole thing. Um, I don't know, it's harder to see, yeah, like, like so. Um, but for next year, um, I want it to be more functional and especially because I am someone who really uses the monthly calendar in the front of my weeks. I have been trying different ways in my current Hobonichi, Hobonichi weeks, um, different ways to make this functional, like this page functional. And it requires a complete redating of the monthly pages and I've tried different techniques. I've tried stamping, I've used um, tape, uh, like washi tape with dates on it, I've written them in um, and I just tried to, you know, just use this page. This is for, this is March, this is March 2018 so it's not usable at all so um, basically I'm just using this page to just test out any technique I can to make this functional and yeah, um, that is something I'm working on for next year, so if you're interested in my lineup, um, I will hopefully be showing you guys that soon, but um, yeah, so I'm going to be redating my Hobonichi weeks for next year, again, just like how I've been trying to maintain it, which is, you know, having everything clearly viewed, um, having space to write appointments and to do lists and meetings and things like that, so um, yeah, that is an ongoing project because I'm spending my evenings testing out different ideas I have and what looks the best and um, that is my fifth project that I need to finish before 2024. Okay so those are my five stationary projects. I have the photo album, I have these brochures that I want to book buying, I have my washi tape book here, I have my flake seals here that I'm nearly done with and then lastly is my Hobonichi weeks that I want to redate for next year and I'm just trying to figure out how to make it functional but be able to again to redate the entire book so um, yeah those are my five stationary projects um, that I'm currently doing and um, I hope you guys found this interesting and you know maybe these projects are something if you want to see more of or just maybe you want to have one topic video dedicated to just let me know um, and if not you know uh, stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys next week bye